Hi everyone, welcome to another episode of Rita's Book Club. On this episode, I'm talking about Kiss and Tell by Adib Koram. Uh, when Adib uh, announced this book, I was instantly super curious and excited to read it. I love his writing uh, and the premises of the story was super cool to me and very refreshing. Uh, if you remember by uh, my review of If This Gets Out, I'm a total freak for boy bands and all the sides of the music industry. So this book tells us the story of Under Drake. He's one th fifth of a boy band and he never expected that to happen to him. him. He and his bandmates from Kiss and Tell are touring for the first time in North America, playing arenas uh, all over the US and Canada. Uh, Hunter is the only gay member of the band, he's out, um, and he, had, he just had a very painful breakup with his for, first boyfriend. Like it's a sex, a public heartbreak, and all that. Uh, and now everyone expects him to play the perfect queer role model for teens around the world. But he isn't really sure what being the perfect queer kid even means. Does it mean dressing up in whatever the label tells him to wear for photo shoots and pretending to never have sex? Unfortunately, yes. Uh, does it mean finding community among the, the queer kids at the meet and greets after Kiss and Tell shows? Fortunately, yes. Does it also include a new relationship with Kaiva, uh, the drummer for the band, opening for them on tour? He definitely hopes so. Uh, but when the label finds out about their relationship, and friendship, it quickly escalates uh, to the responsibility of creating the perfect relationship for the cameras and for the fans. And maybe that's an added pressure Hunter didn't want to or needed. Uh, let me just start by saying that this book is, is such a quick read. Um, the, the pace of the story is so smooth and it was so cool to get the story from different points of the band's tour on their stops. Also in between each chapter you would get except, ex excerpts uh, of old interviews or articles about the band and Hunter which made it super interesting to me because you get the whole picture of what was happening inside the band but also on the public eye. Um, Adi once again didn't disappoint me with this story. It's very different from Darius the Great series. But it's so special to get this look into a boy, into this boy band and even the good bad of the music industry and fame. But especially to have uh, a character that is out, um, is gay and is proud, uh, and the way he has to deal with every, everything, everyone surrounding him. Uh, I really enjoyed Hunter's story and his journey to find his place in the world. Uh, while trying to be a queer role model to so many fans, I recognize the pressure he felt from everyone, but I believe that it's so important for kids to have role mo models, which uh, felt super real to me. Uh, his journey wasn't easy and it wasn't perfect, of course. He still had a lot to learn about his own community, but also the other issues uh, and prejudice that surrounded him and his bandmates. Um, it's also why I believe it's so important to have Kaiva as his romantic interest uh, since he was Iranian and gay. I think it helped Hunter's character to put things in perspective. Uh, and then, of course, the bad side in the music industry and fame. It was very hard to read a lot of the moments in the story and the pressure that was put in all the characters, especially Hunter, but also his bandmates, to exceed expectations. Uh, there are so many realistic moments in there that really make you pause. Uh, for example, the idea that Hunter had to dress like in a queer way, whatever that means uh, to the label and to his management team. Uh, the only thing I wish we had more of was the rest of the band members. Um, I really liked the glimpses we saw when they were together, just performing or even their antics backstage. Uh, it really remembered me of all the One Direction moments we got and it made me miss it. Uh, I especially enjoyed their heart-to-heart -heart 
moments when they discussed important issues and how each and every single one of them was feeling about um, touring and about the band and about all the other social issues around them. Uh, I think it was such an important and beautiful connection uh, for Hunter to have. Uh, nevertheless, and even though all these tough moments, I feel like this book really gives us an hopeful story, the journey of growing up, putting things in perspective, representation in every kind of way matters, realizing that our friends aren't the enemies or just, or they are just going through the same stuff as you are. Um, and even the way we can and need to change the music industry for LGBTQ plus community and everyone really, I think there is hope for the future. It really depends on all of us. Uh, to make the difference and change things. As always, if you like this video, please like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. You can also follow me on Instagram at Rita's Book Club for more content. Thanks for watching and see you next week. Happy readings!